Back on infrastructure, aside from the gas tax, now that the president has had a chance to take a look at the bipartisan plan, what does he think of it? Well, I'd first say that the president is encouraged uh, that Democrats and Republicans are continuing to discuss a path forward on rebuilding our roads, our railways, and our bridges. That's a positive sign. Uh, and this offer is nearly double what the Republican offer was uh, just a few weeks ago. That's another positive sign in the right direction. Uh, he's somebody who cares about the details, wants to have a discussion. And uh, now that he's back uh, in the United States, um, and I expect he'll do that over the coming days, also stay closely in touch with Democratic leadership about the path forward, uh, but certainly he's encouraged by the fact that the number has increased, the investments have increased, has some questions about the pay-fors, uh, which I've noted, uh, and has a red line about the gas tax and raising taxes on individuals making less than $400,000 a year. Is a $1 trillion plan big enough for him? Well, I don't think we see this as a as a one step. Uh, there is a reconciliation process that's ongoing, and that addresses and includes a number of the president's key priorities, including uh, making uh, pre-K universal for kids across the country, which would increase the likelihood of graduating by more than 50 percent, making community college more accessible. Uh, there's a lot of investments and proposals the president has put forward because he thinks they're important for our economy, for the American workforce, for our competitiveness, and a lot of those will be included in a budget process that's already moving forward. So even if this plan doesn't end up being as big as he would like it to be, he believes there are other ways to, to get there, those policies enacted? There are a lot of vehicles to move his bold ideas forward. Um, uh, on Medicare, does the President support Bernie Sanders' proposal to include dental and vision in Medicare? a great question. I actually haven't talked to him about this, so I don't want to speak out of turn. Let me do that, and we can get you all an answer on that. Finally, um, can you describe what safeguards the administration has in place to make sure that the children of top officials don't get preferential treatment in hiring? Sure. Uh, well, let me say first that uh, we have the highest ethical standards of any administration in history. A number of ethics officials have conveyed that, um, and we're proud of that. We have also uh, staffed up at an unprecedented pace, and that, and this is the most diverse administration in American history. So we certainly expect that everyone will abide by those high th ethics standards. That applies in how we operate. It also applies in how hiring is done. Uh, go ahead, President. With the president back from his trip, with the kind of progress you've talked about that he sees on infrastructure, is he seeing this as an inflection point in terms of urgency? Is his mindset at all different uh, after being rather patient in his approach with outreach? Uh, how would you describe where his head is right now uh, concerning how quickly something can get done? Because there are a lot of people who are feeling like it's taking too long and that perhaps he has to have a more active central public role. Well, I'd first say that um, having lived through a lot of legislative battles himself, he knows that sometimes they take some time. The sausage making takes some time. But to your point, um, he does not feel the time is unlimited. And he would like, it, it is not weeks in his view in terms of moving forward and seeing if there's an, a bipartisan path forward. So uh, that is why he's eager to have these meetings and discussions over the coming uh, days um, in uh, the White House and see what it looks like, see if he, we can address some of the questions he has about these, this proposal, um, and certainly he'd like to move forward sooner rather than later. And on Iran, the newly elected president